Hey guys, it's June, and today I have a new video for you for the Samsung Fascinate. Um, I got a new one. I mean, I got this for $50 on Craigslist. Uh, I do not know yet if the PSN is good or not, because it depends on Verizon and Ford. And it was also flashing Metro PCS, so there, I don't think there's a way to check it. If you guys do know, let me know in the comments. I couldn't go through the flashing process with you because my SD card is problem mounting, so I had to format it. I mean, not format it. I had to put that one back into my original phone, which is the Droid X, and get a new one. Or I just took, took another one from another Android device and I formatted it and used it. I just turned it off for you guys so we can see the booting up process. Let's boot it up. This is an afterglow. After one, and, and then it'll go fast to boot animation. There's a one loop of um, the slow. The slow animation, and then the second time it'll go smooth. Yes. It is one in the morning, but I was bored, so I couldn't, I couldn't go to sleep either. This is the Team Hacksung build 6.5. Um, some of them had problems with the chrome and everything, but it worked for me. So here's the lock screen. There's a lock screen, Verizon Wireless on the, on the bottom. So I could just simply unlock or just go to camera mode. So you can see the camera is fully functional. You just twist it around every direction or any direction that wants to. And the camera will take photos. This photo I just took. Video, paranormal photos, everything works except for the video. Some camera options for for those, but I don't think anybody, any of you actually need that. Um, folders work, as you can see. All you need to do is drag an icon and then and place it with each other. Always name a folder. Just drag it out. That's how I created this music folder. It's all K pop because I don't really put the music in. But the sound has been good so far. Um, um, louder than the stock Touch Wiz. The battery life is perfect too, but for those of you heavy users, you might not be. Um, there's like one or two apps that don't work, and one of them is Hulu Plus. I mean, they work, but they just don't install with the market. You're going to need to download from a third-party source like Google or Mediafire. Um, if you guys want the link, and speaking of links, if you guys want me to go through the install installation process with you guys, you can actually comment on the bottom. And let me know, and then I will create it. So, um, I just flashed the f um, version 6.5 and smooth and good so far. Wi-Fi is working. And there's also a new app called Messenger, Google Plus Messenger. That I'm sure that's only because of the three apps. Uh, I mean, the 3D and everything works. 2D, I'll show you like 2D gaming. It's really simple.
But as you can see, the 2D has no lag at all. The multitasking feature, that which lets you to slide up other way so that it will close if you want it to. This is a stock background. You can always choose from live wallpapers. This wallpaper, which is from gallery, live wallpapers, and wallpapers. This, these are I think these are all ones from stock stock ICS. All here. I like this one the best. But it makes it look like a Samsung Galaxy Nexus. In the widget section, it scrolls to the widget section. News and weather. Let's drag it on here. That's weather. It's smooth. I don't expect any more. There used to be phantom rings, um, which makes it kind of vibrate um, when when you don't even have it set on vibrate and no notifications at all but that was fixed in 6.5 with a bunch of bugs um, that needed to be fixed Facebook gallery and Adobe flash works too I mean it was working but as I said after the drawer deck so the flash actually doesn't work on it in 4.0 my dog is here Um, let's, for example, let me just go into the browser and a web page that uses Flash. I don't think there is a lot, but let's say, for example, I'm sure there should be some kind of thing that tests the boot Flash. I mean, I'm actually, I don't even have to do that. There's flash player settings right here. I can just go into browser. Chrome beta doesn't actually support the flash, which I really don't like it. like about. Now, if I didn't have flash, this the whole thing should be up here as white, but or something. If I enter this with the Chrome beta, it will, it will just be plain white. Nothing will happen. It is because it does not support Flash. I don't know what Google was thinking, but it's just a gray screen. Nothing happens. I don't know what Google was um, thinking, but I guess it works that way. You never know. And um, also, Google has been working on some new technologies. And maybe on their next update, they will allow Flash and Chrome Um, So far, it's a very good build. Stable, that's for sure. And. I'm not sure if anybody would expect more from it. It's the best ICS experience you can ever get from a phone that's not the Galaxy Nexus. Oh, not the best. But you can always install a soft key on the bottom, so it will be total Galaxy Nexus. But, um, like for the Droid X, for example, has 0 0.3 more millimeters of screen. And this, I'm so fascinated. this is a 4 inch screen, the Droid X as a 4.3 inch screen. The extra 0.3 millimeters actually help 